Oh, he took. He took. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking this video today. You're here with your girl, Rove Roses, and I am here with Bucky. Here we go. Bucky, you want to wave at everybody? Wait. Good job! Now today we're going to be doing a react to episode 22 of Attack on Time. Now I'm super excited for this episode. I don't know what's going to happen because in the last episode, Aaron actually got defeated by the female Titan. Our female Titan, she has some moves that we have not seen yet. And so I actually don't know what Mikasa and Captain Levi are going to do now. Um, if they're going to follow her or if they're going to just leave her alone because Aaron <laughs> in his Titan form got defeated. And not only Aaron, we also saw Captain Levi's squad all get defeated and I was so sad about that you know I was not <laughs> expecting that so I don't know what Captain Levi I don't know what Mikasa and I don't know what Commander Owen are going to do we saw just quickly a glimpse of Mikasa trying to take down the female Titan on her own even when the female Titan herself was tired and she wasn't she wasn't successful in doing so and so I guess in this episode today, we're going to see what Captain Levi, Mikasa and Commander Owen, or even any, maybe even Iron Man or what the, what the others have planned on what they're going to do with this female Titan, or if they're even going to try to get Eren back. But let's get to this episode. It's just recapping what happened in the last episode and just replayed all of Captain Levi's team members' death. I really liked them all. I was really sad to see them not make it. And Mikasa, she's so beautiful. She's like, give Eren back. I really love Mikasa, and so when I see her in pain, it makes me upset. And also, I forgot to mention, um, we actually saw in the last episode, Captain Levi coming across his team all completely annihilated. And so, like I said, I don't actually know how he feels. And is he also upset? Is he out for revenge? <laughs> Even Mikasa? believes Aaron is still alive. Oh, Captain Levi, don't mess with Mikasa. Oh, has Captain Levi heard of Mikasa? I mean, he probably has in the sense that she has amazing skills and she was the top of her class. Maybe that's why he's heard of her. She might have had potential to joining his team. But he also seems to know that she is Aaron's friend. Good point. Oh, okay, so that is a game plan. Don't worry about killing the female Titan because it doesn't seem possible. And rescue Aaron before the female Titan leaves the forest. Got it. Oh. oh my god like captain levi like went into this spinning wheel thing it kind of reminded me of it kind of reminded me of sonic the hedgehog <laughs> wow oh my god Because she's just fallen. Oh my god. <laughs> Captain Levi is amazing. Holy crap. <laughs> he just like took out that time in like a minute. Holy shit. He is amazing. He's so fast. Oh my god. I feel like if I'd blinked, I would have missed it. He like Beyblade the shit out of her. Oh my gosh. Its neck is exposed. But Captain Levi said killing it is not the mission, Mikasa. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, did Captain Levi hurt himself? Aha! There he is. There he is, Bucky. <laughs> that all happened so quickly. I actually don't really know what happened. Like, how did she, how did her mouth pull open? Like, 
Was she just that tired and exhausted that her mouth just dropped open? <laughs> that was pretty badass what Captain Levi did. He did that all on his own. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Eldo is not coming home. Oh no, oh, he's not coming home either. Oh my god. No. Oh no, don't do this. Oh my god. You know, I see Captain Levi's point of view, you know, like, dead is dead. If you saw him die, dead is dead, you know. But maybe that's just like him being cold because and maybe he needs to be this way so he can do what he has to do, make these decisions because he is in charge of all these people and so he has to make these decisions and you'll make decisions that are less likely to cause harm. And I hope that's how Captain Levi is, but what he just said about dead is dead, you know. Dead is dead, like he does have a point, but these were people and they had loved ones, you know, and so their loved ones need to say goodbye or need some kind of closure. And so that was his friend as well. And so out of respect of a, for a friend, of course you'd want to bring their body home because he knew them. I think that would be my one regret. If, if I was that guy, I would persist. I understand where Captain Levi is coming from, though, but in the end, he is also your friend, and I would, I would hope that I never do that to a friend. And, and you know, like with Armin said, I can't remember specifically what he said, but he was just like, you have to sacrifice maybe your humanity to make these decisions and survive. But you know, our humanity is what makes us different from everybody. That's what makes us different to these time to times that just literally kill and eat. Because love cares about Aaron so much. Oh wow, so the friends actually went to get Ivan's body. Oh my god. I'm not going to get angry at them because that is what I would have done. <laughs> you knew him, you know his parents, You they were close, you know, I'm not going to even, they were close friends. The only thing is like when you make these decisions, you have to just accept the consequences of your actions and I would fully accept the consequences of my actions and we'll obviously see what the consequences are for their actions. Like I could kind of see why the whole team is worried too because obviously the Titans following them could wipe that whole team out too. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's more coming. Are they going to just leave those bodies behind? Is that what Ironman's plan is? the girl Petra you know when they when they just did that it reminded me of what John said what John said earlier about when his own death you know it just made me think if I was in John, John's position I would be wondering if one day that would be me that they're loading up into a cart and then just seeing them 
throw those bodies. I know they had to for their own lives, but it's still a little bit upset. Oh my god, what is Captain Levi gonna do? Is Captain Levi gonna slap the shit out of him? Yeah. Oh, he took. He took their emblems. I guess Captain Levi does care. I mean, if Captain Levi did that to begin with, they could have avoided that whole situation. Aaron is usually so impulsive, so what's stopping him? Why was he talking about getting married to Captain Levi? I'm a little bit confused as to what their goal was. Was this just like an attempt to see how far they could get? Because they're back now. I thought they would have kept trying to go further and further, but maybe Commander Owen saw that there was a huge number of them that had lost their lives and they and so decided that they couldn't keep moving forward. Who are they going to give Aaron to? Alright so that was the end of today's episode. It was a really sad episode. You know I, in saying that I still also enjoyed it because I saw Captain Levi kick the female titan's ass and so now I understand why um, the people in the court believe that Captain Levi could actually control Aaron and if Aaron stepped out of line Captain Levi would kick Aaron's ass. <laughs> I can see why they're confident with Captain Levi doing that. But let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know if you enjoyed this episode. What did you enjoy about this episode? And I hope to see you guys next time. Thank you again for clicking this video today. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.